Within Studio One Three, we have the option to add thumbnail images to any of the VST or effect devices that we have within our browser. And this can just help with finding our way around and locating whatever instrument that we'd like to use a bit more quickly. We do have a search feature, so if we click the magnifying glass icon, we can type in an instrument and uh, find it quickly that way. But the thumbnails just provide an extra level of uh, convenience when trying to locate whatever we would like to use within our song. Now, in order to add that, it's a pretty straightforward process. If I, if we come to the instruments here, I'm going to press F6 to access that tab. I'll open up the Personas folder, and as we can see, by default, the thumbnails for uh, the devices within Personas are already available to us. And, you know, as you note, it's pretty quickly to tell what is what and just drag that in. So how can we apply that to any other third-party VST devices that we'd like um, if I expand out this Native Instruments folder here, I've got a battery. Now, what we need to do is go ahead and drag whatever device we'd like to update a thumbnail uh, within the browser to into our song. And then we can come up to the upper left-hand corner here and choose Update Plugin and Thumbnail. Now, keep in mind that whatever is showing here is going to be the thumbnail image so it kind of takes a screen capture if I were to go ahead and update plugin we can see that it's an exact image of what we saw if I come back and let's load a kit in here and I'm going to go ahead and update the plugin and th thumbnail. Let's come back. And then, as you can see, the thumbnail image has changed to represent uh, what we just had up. So, that just a little something to be aware of. Anytime that we'd like to remove the icon, we can just right click or thumbnail. We can just right click and delete that thumbnail out. Now, the other option that we have is. If for any reason we'd like to kind of hide these thumbnails at any time, we've got this little icon up above. We can click that and then we'll return back just to a text uh, representation of our VST uh, instruments and effects. I'll go ahead and turn that back on. And just to briefly show that this works for effects as well, I'll F7, come to the effects tab, and this is an effect that was an add-on basically so let me go ahead and delete that thumbnail and let's drag that saturation knob onto the battery track and just as we did with the instruments we would come to this drop down menu here update plugin thumbnail and there we are